Hi guys, welcome to a very special tutorial, starting a new series of videos explaining uh, the tracks around the world uh, using the sim racers, uh, the sim racing games to help you to increase your performance and having better results at your sim racing career. So, at this time you are at the iconic track which is Spa Francochamp, everybody knows, but it has some very special details like the Air Rouge, like uh, the third sector and uh, I, I, I think that I can help you to improve your, your lap times in any simulators like uh, uh, iRacing, Arcelo Corsa, Race Room, uh, Air Factor 2 or any other kind of simulators, even the, the arcades like uh, Gran Turismo Sport or Forza Motorsport because it is very similar what you have to do. Obviously, uh, I'm not being specific in this kind of tutorial because I will use more than one simulator to explain. So, if you want to a uh, more specific tutorial to a, a specific kind of car, like uh, the iRacing Audi R8 at Spy Fogoshams, you can join the Driving Academy, and there you have the telemetry, the setups, and you have also the lap weights where I explain doing my fastest time with the that combo with track and car. Let's begin. Here, very important. Uh, before starting the lap, you have this previous uh, short straight. Okay, here you can't do any mistake. So you have to go on full throttle at this point and keep it going full throttle. Okay. Avoid to squeeze with the car or having some oversteer. Uh, if you are doing a, a race, it is possible to happen. Okay, if you have qualifying, you can be more uh, careful when you when you start a lap. So let's go. Uh, another important thing, uh, thing that I, I forgot to talk, it is the gears. Okay, this car is, has different setups, as I said. So in the air racing, you can use it the third gear or and in the Acero Corsa can be the second gear. It depends from your setup, from the car you are using. Okay, but uh, it possibly very close, uh, and even in the other sims. Okay, like Air Factor and, and otherwise. So let's let's start. Uh, at the first corner, you have to pay attention to the 150 meter split. Okay, uh, keep your car at the outside, in the track, like I'm doing, following the this track limits which is uh, based on these white lines okay so keep your line as this and here you have to play uh, to pay attention also in the 100 meters place uh, pay a lot of attention there and when you are very close to there you can start braking here there is a very different a huge difference between this the uh, racing simulator and the other simulators the braking G3 cars has ABS, so uh, theoretically you can use all the brake pressure possible to have the better braking. But when you do that, you normally have some lockup in your tires, even that be, they be shortly, but you can uh, you probably you have, and uh, you can have some understeering you know, entering a corner. Uh, we have to use some trail braking in these cars, okay? So. Uh, I, I don't recommend that you use uh, total pressure, full pressure on the braking uh, when starting uh, a corner. So, as you can see in the pedal graph here, in the left, uh, I use it, the full throttle, uh, full, full press on the brake pedal in the beginning of the, the corner, and then I, I decrease uh, how much I was using when I was entering that corner. So, as you can see here, I use the, the fourth gear. And reduce it to the second gear, okay, like this. And uh, when you put the second gear, you can start turning the wheel. Uh, if you are using 900 degrees, like uh, almost everyone uses, you probably will use uh, a wheel rotation like this, uh, which is more or less 90 degrees, 90 degrees to the right, and uh, you can't. Uh, accelerate the car here okay it is very important to make the the right braking point okay if you try to bake a little bit too late you will lose uh, you lost 
the this trait ahead, which is very very fast because it has also the Eruge, Redlon and uh, the second straight, okay, going to the second sector. So keep a lot of attention in the in this part. Well, uh, so here you have to do this and have to pay a lot of attention in that curves, as I will point here in the this camera. Here, you have to pass at this point. Any sim you have to use it. Uh, Obviously, you have to pay attention to the wall, you can't hit the wall, but you have to pass as close as you can. Okay, as you can see here, very close, okay, almost touching. About this, it depends from how much you, you are uh, able to, to take risks to make a faster lap. If you have an endurance race, isn't a very smart idea to go as close as you can to the wall because you can crash and uh, you go, you race you will go over. So in, during the race you can be more smooth uh, and go just at the curbs. Okay, so using this as your limits, not going so close to the walls. If you uh, are very very confident in your way of driving, you can go more close to the walls. But you have to know a lot of your driving style and your car, okay? Because the tire wear can make the car different, the fuel level, and other kinds of situations. The, the track grip, the rain, uh, any 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 uh, factors can change the car the car grip. So it depends from your strategy and race situation. In qualifying, it is the best way to do, passing as close as you can to the wall. So here, brake, and immediately you can start to accelerate the car, going to the outside again, okay, uh, and at this point, normally GT3 cars also have the traction control, okay, and uh, at a race in a set of course, we have the, the levels of traction control like they go to 1 to uh, 10 I guess and you have to and 10 is almost nothing and 1 is very very uh, greater level of intervention in the in the traction control so you, if you have number 1 you can hit the, the throttle pedal uh, with full pressure okay you can go full on the gas and uh, you have no spin but when you do that the car has more fuel consumption Okay, and also uh, the car uh, will have a uh, slower reacceleration because the, the, the traction control system holds the wheel spinning and you have uh, a safe car but uh, you don't have speed. So you have to, to mix what is the way, how much you can you hold the car, okay? Uh, so that's it. If you have a high number like 9, 10 uh, or, or even 8, you need to reaccelerate with 70%, okay, and keep uh, calm and feeling the car uh, and see how much can you go on the throttle. As you can see here, uh, I'm progressing on the on the throttle, okay, going uh, even more close to the the maximum. And here I did. So as you can see, I I have a trick to make my 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 driving. Uh, I I do different parts on the brake. So as you can see here, I started with 60%, maybe 50, 50, uh, 55, sorry, and I raise it to 100%. So 55%, 100%, okay? I, I didn't use it 55%, uh, 7%, 100%. I have just two levels, 55 and 100. It's enough, okay? And then, Recenter the wheel as quick as you can, okay? Uh, because that makes the car more stable on the straight. If you have turned the wheel, you can spin, okay? Because the differential thinks that you are still turning and the, the wheels have different speeds and that makes the car spin, okay? Or makes the traction control act in the, in the rear wheel traction, okay? So that's it. Uh, a way to know if you did it, uh, correct reacceleration is where the car goes after reaccelerating the, uh, it. 
If you go to this point, okay, using all the curve possible, you don't have to use this. Avoid the green uh, extra track, okay, because at the air racing you have uh, off track. A set of course, uh, I think you, you can also have uh, cut track. Any other seams is very similar, and it has less grip than the rest of the track and when where you have the normal asphalt. Okay, so keep the car here. If you're not hitting this part of the track, maybe you can be restarting the car too late, and that's very bad because we have a lot of uh, straight ahead with full speed, and we need uh, acceleration power. Okay, so that's it. Now uh, we're going to the iconic rail rouge. Okay, full throttle. Here uh, we have a very very specific situation because the sims uh, work differently in their physics so at the racing and uh, at this track condition uh, I think I, I have a, a good very a very good grip but isn't the best okay we have uh, to, ho to to release the throttle pedal just for the for a bit time and then you can reset again on full throttle and I said of course uh, I did full throttle all the rouge section i didn't release the pedal so it's a difference between the, the these games okay uh, at the set of course i had 20 liters of fuel an amount of 20 liters and the i racing i had 60 liters it's very different physics okay but uh, i did this because i just want to show to you ways to do you have to keep in your mind that the fuel level the tires level will change the car driving okay it is just a uh, baseline driving as we normally see in the forums or in, in websites the baseline setups okay you know uh, some tricks but you have to be more specific if you want to win if you want to win a, a good level of racing <laughs> my dog is is crying because she wants to go out but i can't uh, allow it so sorry for that it happens and keep going to the air rouge here full throttle hit these curbs okay no problem about that you can go over them uh, if you don't do this you probably will have a difficult to make this next corner which is the red lawn uh, so try to go always over this curb and here is the secret at the air racing as you can see here I'm releasing the pedal just a half like like a uh, 40% okay and then um, when I almost go into the top of the the pinnacle of this this corner I reaccelerate on full gas so as you can see here a very important thing about the rouge you don't have to hit this inside curb why because here if you hit this curb the inside wheels can uh, have different speeds different spinning wheel, uh, speed from the outside wheels and that can make the car uh, spin and spin at this point is very dangerous because you don't have uh, to where to go you probably will hit the wall or crash uh, it's very common to see that in virtual and all in real life racing okay so avoid this curve but you have to pass as close as you can it's very important to to, to know about this and then the track the, the, the corner is here uh, we have a very very important thing because if you go very aggressive on this part you can have an off track or uh, clutch track in, I don't know because if you cross this like this okay the, the game can uh, understand that you made a cut track but if you go a little bit more to inside the track isn't happen anything so I think uh, I tested a lot of laps this is more or less the same uh, limit for all the sims you can go over this curve like with the four wheels okay isn't uh, a problem but you have to test if the sim uh, simulator you're using you won't penalize you from this okay because it is faster doing this you can uh, do the, the the real clean 
uh, climbing the, the Rouge with more speed because you don't have to release so much the, the throw pedal. But uh, again, test this in the practice sessions to take sure that it's possible and allow it to do. Okay, so pay attention in this part. And here, uh, very careful here, okay, don't hit the extra track again. Go in the maximum to the to the curbs, like I did it. Full throttle, no secrets here. Uh, at this point, it's very important to think it is a very good uh, point to overtake cars because you can slipstream them. Uh, it is very, very. There is a very big, a very huge difference of speed when you are slipstreaming cars. Okay, so it is a very good point to overtake. Keep going to the. Let me put the cockpit cam again. Here. Uh, this this corner is very, in my opinion, very easy. Okay, you don't have secrets here, and it's very very equal to all the sims. Uh, 100 meters place, you break. Okay, we have. I don't know if if in the other simulators. I don't remember now. Sorry. We have this line, okay? It is a very, very good reference because I always break at this point. I see that line when I go over it, I break. Okay, so as you can see, exactly this. Okay. Again, the braking uh, at this corner, we have some very, very important situations about throw braking. Some guys like to do uh, brake just in the straight part and release the pedal to make the, the rear enter at this, this corner. But if you make some some trail braking as I'm doing, I think it is better. Okay, it's better. So you can have two ways. You can brake, 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 brake and release the pedal here and try to enter. Or you can do as I'm doing, my way, which is carrying the speed into the corner using the trail braking uh, technique. Okay, so as you can see here. So if you don't know what is throw braking, it is turning and braking at the same time. But you can't brake with uh, maximum intensity because you won't have the chance to turn. So you have to release the, the braking uh, pedal a little bit and you can start turning. Okay, if you release totally uh, the brake pedals, the rear of your car it, it will probably shakes a lot, but it can help to mix the car into the corner. Just an advice, my English isn't the best because uh, I'm not American or British or another thing. Uh, but I, I think that you can understand, okay, it is possible to understand and, and to, to learn with what I'm saying. To the next videos, uh, I promise that I will uh, improve my English knowledge, but for instance, is the best I can do it. Okay, so I hope that this uh, this class help you. Okay, and I open to suggestions and any other kind of thing. So keep going. Here uh, I'm using in all the sims the third gear. Okay, I never used the second or the third. Uh, it doesn't care. My gear, uh, my my I forgot the name. The gear radio, right? Uh, sorry, I forget the name. <laughs> uh, so keep going. Here, cockpit cam. For the gear, I start to turn the wheel a little bit before this curb ending. Okay. And you have to go over here. I will use the chase cam again. So the outside wheels, in this case, inside wheels, okay, the right wheels go over the curbs you can be very aggressive at this part there is no problem okay passing over the curbs and here as you can see you start to accelerate the car using a half of the pedal the throttle pedal uh, when you get the car at this point you go full on the gas and then you just release here you don't have to break the car just release the pedals Pay attention to this. Don't break the car at this point in any simulator you're using. Just releasing the pedals. I see uh, uh, a lot of drivers braking at this point isn't necessary. You just have to release the pedal. Okay, is enough. So 
uh, let's see at the cockpit cam. Third gear, over the curves, release the pedal. Hitting the inside the curves again, you can go aggressively here. Try to, to keep the car as to the left as you can, because the next corner is to the right. So if you go too much to the right, you probably will lost time in the next corner, okay? So keep to the left, as I'm doing here. A good signal to know if you did right is be very close to the outside curb here, as you can see, and I'm, I'm very close to it. Okay, try to put less than a car difference, distance. Okay, uh, imagine that isn't possible to another car be uh, at your sides between the the track limit line. Okay, so as you can see, I, I I touch it the curbs. Do it like this. Okay. Uh, just another advice, I'm not the best driver in the world, okay? Probably it has faster drivers than me at the spa Champs circuit, but uh, I, I, I'm faster also, and I know a, a lot about some racing, so you can hurt my tips or not, it's your choice, but this works, okay? So if you go to the real life and makes this, uh, it works, so it's your choice. But uh, if a, drive, a guy say, ah, you, you could make this way or that way, it would be better, for sure. It's just a baseline, guys. If you want to be very, very specific, it is, it is possible to make three seconds faster than this. If, if a very good fast setup with uh, uh, low level in the fuel, new tires, tires at the right pressure, the right temperature, okay, uh, very, very good driving, knowing where to brake exactly, and how much to reset the car, how much traction control, brake bias, and, and other kind of things. So it's a very good baseline, okay? Keep that in your mind. Here, uh, again, you don't have to brake, just release the pedal. But at this time, you don't have to release uh, totally, you just have to release a half, as you can see, at this, okay? And at the same time that you release the pedal a, a little bit, you start to turn the wheel. Uh, if you're using 900 degrees, you can turn as I'm turning, okay? As you can see here, just release the pedal, releasing, releasing. At this corner, you can go over the curves, but uh, isn't a very good idea. Just touch it, okay? You don't have to go very aggressive on this, on these curves. And then reassert the car full throttle. And you have to hit very aggressive in this corner edict, okay? At this point, you have to be very aggressive. So as you can see here, using all the track, but you don't have to use the green extra track, okay? Avoid it. So that's the point. Be very careful at this point, because uh, if you go without paying attention, it looks like uh, the sand, but isn't. Is You can use this, okay? You have grip here, you have uh, very close to this, the asphalt grip, okay, so you can go over it. And uh, now starting uh, the downhill at the track, okay, so let's back to the cockpit camera. Uh, so at this part, we have to, to make a little bit throw braking again, so here I use the second gear. Okay, in some case I use this third. You have to see the the gear uh, radio. Okay, so with baseline setup, it probably will be second or third gear. You have to see. And here I break a little bit earlier to the to that outside corner beginning. As you can see here, third second, and. Uh, when we reducing, we start to, ter to turn and enter in the corner at the same time that you brake the car and reduce the gears. And then you start to enter in. Now you just release the pedal. And you start to reaccelerate the car just a little bit to keep the, the speed. Okay, you don't have to uh, go full on the gas. Just keeping the speed. So as you can see here, I'm uh, 105 km per hour. It's more or less the speed. 95 uh, just just a touch and this is very very interesting part because you have to hit the, that curves but just a little bit 
okay as you can see just a little bit here in this, this part just keeping the car as to the to the to the left and inside as you can some guys do a different line they go a little bit to the center and back to the side no I think the best line possible it is keeping the car to the inside part okay all the time as you can see here and why because if you keep the car at the inside part you can re-accelerate earlier and that makes the, uh, the lap time faster so here at this point as you can see here let's try to make a reference uh, a good reference I guess it is the ending of this wall as you can see here you go you go you go and here more or less more or less at this part you start to re-accelerate the car and you still turn in the wheel to the right okay uh, and now you recenter the wheel as quick as you can okay and go full on a gas it is a very very uh, very important part and it, it is very very uh, important to recenter the wheel as quick as you can because if you don't do that you probably will spin or you will have to go uh, smooth on the gas so it's your choice go to the center try to avoid to go too much to the outside because you have to back to, to the right okay so try to go to the center this line I did isn't the best I can improve a little bit but it's also a very good line and here you back to the right and keep going at the third gear okay I'm using third gear in almost all tracks uh, almost all uh, simulators here third gear go over the skirts okay just a little touch in the brakes nothing very very uh, important and here you have to go over here as you can see using all the track possible and re-accelerate the car with full throttle okay and go to the right side here it's very important uh, you have to avoid it these green lines okay because uh, it won't have the the best grip okay it is very very dangerous so keep your car at the curbs okay and now uh, we're gonna start the next part of uh, the tutorial using the Aceto Corsa game so we are here uh, keep going in your tutorial now at the Aceto Corsa the zones are different the graphics the physics is the physics are similar uh, but it has some difference so now we have the the gear graph we have the pedals graph a little bit bigger uh, and the rest is very similar okay so keep going here fourth gear using trail braking okay uh, and also have EBS and traction control here but as you can see I'm not using the whole uh, brake pedal pressure able okay so yes a half is enough and when you put the fourth gear you start to turn the wheel and you keep braking and you go releasing the pedal as close as you go into the inside of the corner okay is the first and here you release totally the pedal you have to hold a little bit be patient okay go as inside as you can here as close to the the curves as you can but avoid it okay you don't have to touch them and here you go into the right go into the right you have to touch the outside curves if you don't do this you are breaking too early in the previous corner okay in the entering in the entering and here you start to accelerate in full throttle it isn't necessary to, to pass over here I did a mistake there but uh, doesn't make any difference in the lap time but it's a little bit dangerous because you can spin there I have I had luck okay so avoid do that uh, here the S's okay uh, is, they are real, uh, relative is but you have to pay attention in some details here start breaking a little bit earlier this this curve start okay uh, it is possible you have to do the, the, the sixth gear but I'm using the third gear in all the cars here okay, so reduce the third gear you can start the corner using the, uh, a lot of brake pressure 
almost 100% or even 100%, it depends from your ABS. And uh, we already had this conversation, okay? So, breaking third, uh, third gear, and at the time that you enter to the third gear, you start turning the wheel. We have some trouble breaking here, as, as you can see at this point, okay, I release the pedal, here you go as inside as you can, you can go over the curves, isn't a problem, okay, as you can see in the outside camera, I, I didn't use, but uh, I should, okay, because I could do a more inside line a little bit faster, as you can see I, I had some understeering here, okay, so I could go a little bit more inside to have a better line to the next corner, so uh, in your time, do it passing over this line here, okay? I'm being very honest in my lap time. I can do it better than this, but remembering is just a baseline, okay? So try to be as to the to the right as you can here, and just release the pedal, don't have to brake, and go over the curves. Here I did a very good uh, driving line. Just release it for, for a second, and you can restart accelerating going to the, the, the corner exit. Uh, I'm going to put the cockpit camera to see my, my, my onboard action. So let's do it. Third, a little bit on the steering, and here, releasing, releasing, holding, full throttle, here, very important. Uh, you have to avoid the green, okay, they, they don't have a good grip. And all the seams I, I tried isn't a good uh, option to go over them. It's a little bit dangerous. Okay, maybe with open wheel cars it can be possible because they have more downforce. Okay, but at this guy, this, this this case isn't a good idea. Okay, and then going to the to the outside again to the next corner and starting the third sector. Okay, so here let's back to the onboard camera. Third gear again, I use the third gear in all, all the simulators. If you feel the third gear isn't good enough, try the fourth, ge the fourth gear. Because the second, it will be probably, uh, it won't be uh, a good option, okay, in all the, the sims. You can, you have to start to break in a little bit earlier the, the, the curve beginning. Reduce it for the third gear, carrying some throw braking, then you're releasing the pedal. Okay, at this point you can already release the pedal uh, for full. Keep it, the car as close as you can to the, to the curbs. You can go over them, okay, isn't a problem. But uh, don't take too risk here, okay. Just, uh, just touch them softly, as, as I did here. And we start accelerating the car uh, with full throttle, okay. Using this part of the track, you have to, again, avoid the, the green. Okay, the extra track, and uh, now it's a very tricky corner because it depends a lot from the sim racing rules and physics. Okay, because with the steel course, I don't full throttle, as you can see, I didn't break, I just turn it. If I racing, isn't possible to do it like this. I had to release the pedal for a second to have uh, grip enough to do. Okay, because I had a lot of uh, of understeer, so I think that project cars uh, is very similar to a set of course at this point. You can use all the throttle; you don't have to release. Uh, Air factor two, you probably will have to to release the pedal. It depends from the car feel. Blah 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 blah. We already talked uh, about this. So here, keep the car inside to the curbs, and when you decide to go you move to the inside, okay? Here, avoid the curves, okay? You don't have to hit them. Pass as close as you can. And then, here, this is my point. You have to pay attention in the, the sim rules, okay? Because some sims uh, you can go over using all the track here, a little bit more than the white line, okay? This is the set of course uh, rules. I racing also allows, but I racing if you go a little bit more to the outside, you all you already receive uh, uh, off track penalty. Okay, so you have to test and see the track limits. 
But normally it is possible to do like this because the real one cars, the real life Blink 83 series do like this. So that's that's it. You are almost going to the end. It's a long class, I know, but uh, it is a, also a long track. Here, full throttle, no secrets. And here, I don't remember the name of this track. Sorry. Uh, it is another kind of physics example and uh, rules of the simulator also. At the set of course, I did full throttle, as you can see. I didn't release the pedal. Very easy to do. No, no hard moves. At iRacing, I had to release a little bit. At the Air Factor 2, I think it is also necessary. And uh, so, if you have to release the pedal, you have to do at this point. Just releasing uh, for a half of a second, uh, 500 tenths of a second, okay? 500 uh, tenths of a second, it is enough. Uh, and you don't have to hit this. Okay, you have to avoid these curves, it is very dangerous to, to hit them. And then you have to go here to the outside and you have to see your simulator rules because I just said of course uh, that's the limit. Uh, it's strange because in other in other uh, curves I can I can go over the white line, but here if I go I have a cut track. Okay, understood. At the air racing, it is very close to the zero course. You can go a little bit over the white line, but it will take risk to receive a cut track or off track, whatever. And uh, well, the last the last the last sessions of curves, okay, of corners uh, here, the bus stop, and we're almost going to the end. So let's go back to the inside here. I break a little bit earlier than normally. This corner looks you can break too late, but it isn't possible. You have to break a little bit earlier, okay? So, 150 meters plate, you pass there and you start to break. Remember, the sim racing physics. If the sim racing allows you to break at 100 meters place, go and do it like that, okay? Uh, remembering also, if you want to have specific contents, to a specific car and specific track, uh, setups, telemetry logs, uh, strategy, uh, and lab tutorials, lab guides like like this. Okay, but being more specific, doing for a, an exact car, an exact track, an exact weather, you can go and join Driving Academy. Uh, it is a sim racing school. I am the owner and instructor. Also, I, I do online coaching sessions. You can request one, uh, private coaching sessions or group coach sessions. Okay, so if this is just a baseline. So break at this corner, you can start breaking because it's a very long, okay, uh, breaking point. Using all the brake pressure, using the ABS uh, resource, doing the braking in the in a straight line, as you can see here. Using the second gear, I use the second gear in all the sims, okay, here. And when I put this, the second gear, you can release the pedal and make the corner, okay. And at this point, it's very important to pay attention from some things that I don't know if I really did at this lap, but uh, I will explain to you, okay. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, so, when you put the second gear in turn, you have to avoid this red and cuts, or they can, they. They can be yellow or any other color. So hitting here using all the curves possible, but avoiding the uncuts. Okay. The same thing to the second. As you can see here, I, I did a mistake. Okay. Uh, I hit them, but uh, it happens. In the next lap, I will do better. Uh, but you have to avoid it. So. So the point here is. You have to be very smooth on the wheel because normally if you go very aggressive on the gas when you when you leave when you left this corner you can spin the car goes to the right and spin it's very common to see on the broadcast guys and uh, mainly rookie guys spinning with GT cars at this point so <laughs> it's very very fun because uh, I almost can feel that they will spin here so have to be smooth okay as you can see my, my throttle pedal I don't use 
full throttle. I use a half, a little bit more. It depends from, from the car situation. So as you can see here, I, I left, uh, I, I leave the corner and uh, I use a half, maybe 70% and release it. You don't have to brake to the second part in the, the last one. Just release the, the throttle pedal and turn the wheel. Okay, avoid the curbs. Don't do like me. I am the coach. I can't do mistakes. You can't. <laughs> uh, and here, just full throttle on the gas. Be a little bit careful because it's very frustrating to spin the car in the last corner. So here, be a little bit careful and uh, try to recenter the wheel as quick as you can. Okay, and don't use the the green extra track. Okay, so I'm back now. Uh, I will back to you see onboard action. Go to the cockpit cam and like, and that's it. So second gear, release the brake pedal, avoid the end cuts. Be smooth on the throttle pedal, avoid the end cuts. Here using all the the, the curves, and that's it. You done a lap at the longest long platform crosscham circuit. Okay. You can also use this uh, these tips to other cars. Okay. Like uh, the driving line is the, the same for, for all, for open wheel, prototypes, uh, if you want to do go-karts at this track, go, go there. Uh, <laughs> street cars, uh, any simulators, even the real life, okay, is the same driving line always. If you have, if you are doing this driving line, you have more chances to be successful, successful at the track. Uh, but you have to change the braking points, the gears, uh, maybe you have to be more or less aggressive on the curbs, it depends from the car uh, type and behavior. And I hope to help uh, to help you, if you can uh, enjoy this class and improve your lap times, comment, make your comment here at the, the video, I don't know if you're, you're watching on the Facebook or YouTube or, or, our, cha or our website. Uh, it's very very cool to 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 keep together with you guys because I want to make the the sim racing community as better as I can do it. Okay, because I love this. And if you want to have a sex uh, a sex, so sorry for that word. Okay, uh, I have to do some English coaching. <laughs> uh, if you want to have access to the, the driving line content, uh, you can go in the the video description and. Click there, and we also do coaching sessions. It's very, very important to, to do a coaching session because I can watch you driving, okay, and explain to you where you make mistakes. So why are you losing two, three, or more seconds? And it's very helpful. In one hour, two hour, you can have huge improvements. And the the online content with the setups, the telemetries, strategies, and lap grades. Uh, also helps you as uh, studying content, like a book when you go to the school. You have to do the, the lessons with the teacher, uh, seeing your, your mistakes, and you also have to study at home uh, the book. Okay, so it's the same thing here. Uh, I recommend to do this, the, the both things because uh, they are a combo, a very good combo. So that's it for today. Uh, make your suggest suggestion. Uh, you can, if you hate me, you can also do it. I don't care. <laughs> if you don't like my English, sorry. Uh, it's my the best I can do it for for instance. And I, I swear that uh, uh, I will improve to the next class. Okay. And uh, I hug to you. I see you on the track. Don't hit me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's it, guys. Hope to see you on the top of the podium. Uh, I'm Max Riffo, the owner and teacher from the Driving Academy Sim Racing School. And that's it. See you on the track.